We start this half hour of WRL News with parents and students from private schools gathering in Raleigh to celebrate today National School Choice Week. And to thank state lawmakers for making school vouchers universally available to all North Carolina families beginning this year. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the celebration in Raleigh. Laura. Renee, you can see the celebration is winding down. They're picking up uh, the, the sets and, uh, and putting stuff away here. But uh, it was a, you know, a lively crowd this morning. Registration for school vouchers, of course, opens next week. And for the first time, families can apply for thousands of taxpayer dollars in vouchers, no matter how wealthy they may be. The voucher program started out as a way to help low-income students pay for private or religious schools. Over time, lawmakers raised the income threshold year after year. Until last year, they did away with the income cap entirely. Now any family can qualify for a voucher, although lower income families will still receive larger checks than wealthier families. Senate leader Phil Berger told the crowd private school enrollment has climbed by 25 percent over the past five years. Families want options when it comes to the education of their children. Parents should not be restricted by their zip code and certainly should not be restricted by their income when it comes to educating their kids. Now, meantime, in Nash County yesterday, Governor Roy Cooper called 2024 the year of the public school. He's calling on state lawmakers to stop expanding the voucher program and put the money instead into public schools from construction and repair to better pay for teachers and staff. Now, the universal voucher program is expected to cost taxpayers, state taxpayers, I should say, billions of dollars this decade. The state lawmakers have been adding more money to it every year. Renee? Laura Leslie, thank you.